let's learn uh, one important property of path connected space here the theorem states that every path connected space is a connected space so let's prove this let capital x be a path connected space We need to prove capital X is a connected space. For this, let us consider a fixed point X naught. In capital X and X be an arbitrary point in capital X. Since capital X is a path connected space which is a hypothesis therefore there is a path in capital X joining x and x naught according to the definition of path connected space there will be a continuous function between any two points of the space that is there exists a continuous function i am considering the function as fx that will be from i to capital x such that I need to consider fx of 0 equal to x and the function fx, okay, fx of 1 equal to x naught. As you know, i is always connected because i is nothing but the unit interval, closed interval 0 to 1. I can write the reason every interval is connected. Since i is connected and as you know continuous image of a connected space is connected that we have proved in our one of the sessions. Therefore fx of the domain i is connected. fx of i will be x itself but as you know continuous image of a connected space uh, i recall the theorem f from x to y be the function implies whenever x is connected then f of x that is y will be connected that was the theorem which is continuous image of a connected space is connected so fx of i is connected therefore I will consider the family fx of i this x be the fixed point belongs to capital X itself is a family of connected subsets of capital X right and for each x belongs to capital x fx of 1 will be belongs to fx of i itself because i is nothing but the unit interval 0 to 1 since it is a closed interval 0 to 1 1 also will be included that is fx of 1 is x naught so x naught belongs to fx of i hence we can write that if x of 1 is equal to x naught, this is true for all x belongs to capital X. Therefore, x naught belongs to intersection of fx of i since this x naught belongs to whole family. That's why you can write intersection 
x belongs to capital x therefore intersection of f x of i this is the family provided this fixed point x belongs to capital x not equal to empty because x not belongs to this group therefore you can tell that union of f x of i such that l x belongs to capital x is connected and also we need to show that union of f x of i for any x belongs to capital x equal to x this we need to show as shown below since for all x belongs to capital x f x from i to x is a function therefore f x of i which is a subset of x for all x belongs to capital x therefore union of f x of i here x belongs to capital x is the subset of capital x call this as equation 1 again let us consider any element z belongs to capital x then can tell that this small z element z and x not are any two points in capital x again as you know capital x is a path connected space therefore we can construct any continuous function between these two points z and x not so let's write z and x not can be joined by a path in capital x that is there exist a continuous function f z from i to x such that f z of 0 will be equal to z itself f z of 1 will be equal to x not because z and x not are the points and the 0 and 1 are the elements of i because we need to construct the function uh, with, with the domain i itself as you know this uh, let's consider this z as the fixed point f z which is a function from i to x is a function therefore f z of any arbitrary point t where t be the element of i so f z of t will be the element of f z of i itself okay that is for all t belongs to capital i therefore in particular f z of 0 will belongs to f z of i that is z belongs to f z of i this will be the subset of union of f z of i or we can tell that this will be the uh, subset of union of f x of i again x belongs to capital x because here z also the element of capital x itself that is a space therefore we can conclude that z belongs to union of f x of i for any x belongs to capital x um, this proves that z belongs to capital x implies z belongs to union of fx of i for any i x belongs to capital x therefore this x will be subset of union of fx of i for any x belongs to capital x call this as equation 2 so comparing equation 1 and equation 2 this is the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 from equation 1 and equation 2 we can conclude that union of fx of i where x belongs to capital x equal to capital x why we have proved because that is uh, giving the definition of connected space that gives since union of fx of i for any x belongs to capital x 
is connected it's equal to x therefore x is connected hence every path connected space is a connected space again uh, we can note that every path connected space is a connected space but every connected space is not necessarily a path connected space 